Good evening, brothers and sisters in Christ. I am Celeste Zapala of the First United Methodist Church of Germantown in Philadelphia. I'm a member of Military Family Speak Out and sadly a member of Gold Star Families Speak Out. I am the mother of a fallen soldier. My son, Sergeant Sherwood Baker, was killed in Baghdad on April the 26, 2004. I'm here tonight as a witness to the true cost of this war. And I am joined this night by others who have lost their sons to the betrayal and madness that is the war in Iraq. I honor these young ones. Alex Carbonaro, the son of Gilda and Fulvio. Thomas Sweet, son of Liz and Tom. Alexander Arandando, son of Carlos and Melita, please hold these families in your prayers. I have been in this cathedral only one other time, and it was for the funeral of Alex Carbonaro. In May last year, hundreds filled the seats that you sit in now and they wept with his wife and his parents. And on a beautiful spring day, Alex was laid into the sacred ground of Arlington. And just beyond his grave, the earth was being prepared to receive the bodies of the newly dead and those to come. 3,210 American families. We are all part of the ever-growing sad fellowship of families who have met their worst fear when they opened their front door. Are you Sherwood Baker's mother, said the man with medals on his chest on the rainy night that death came to my door? Yes, I'm the mother of the sweet and noble son who always made me laugh, who was there if I needed help, who more people than I could imagine called their best friend. Yes, my son, Sherwood, musician, a caseworker for mentally retarded adults, a faithful husband, and the tenderest father you could ever know. And a soldier in the Pennsylvania National Guard. Are you Sherwood's mother? Yes. And I fell to the ground. And somewhere outside of myself, I heard someone screaming and screaming. Tonight, we're here in the National Cathedral, the altar of the nation, and we lay before God the sorrow that lives in all of us because of this war. Since Sherwood died, protecting the Iraq survey group as they looked for the weapons of mass destruction, 2,483 more American lives have been lost. And how many limbs, and how many eyes, and how much blood and what happens to the souls of soldiers who pick up their friends in pieces or fearfully fire 
into a moving car to discover a minute later a shattered Iraqi family. In Iraq, shamefully, no one could say how many children and old people have died. Those counts are only kept in the hearts of the people who lost them. Hold these people in your heart. An Iraqi mother searches a morgue for the familiar curve of the hand of her child beneath a pale sheet. An American father watches his son beheaded on videotape. An Iraqi child wakes up in a shabby hospital in excruciating pain without his arm. An American girl writes letters to her dead soldier father. A young vet wraps a garden hose around his neck and leaps away from the nightmares that beset him. And the ocean of tears spreads across both countries, along with the numbers. 1,950 U.S. kids have lost a parent, 25,000 wounded and struggling through the VA system, scores and scores of suicides, 500,000 and more dead in Iraq, 2 million refugees. A wail rises from the throat of all who love these people and shakes our hearts as it reaches the crucified open arms of Jesus. We're here tonight as the church. Each one of us is a witness to this war and to our own complicity in it. When were we silent when we should have spoken? Whose eyes would we not meet to face the truth? Now we are prostrate at this altar, begging, Lord, help us. War is our failure to love you. And peace is your command. Peace isn't the easy way out. Its creation is the most confounding, the hardest thing we can do. Help us. We lay our souls broken open before you and question, how do we follow your command to love each other? Surely, it cannot be by mindlessly sending the children of others off to kill people we do not know. And though I know that nothing I say, no amount of logic or protest will bring my son back to me or any of the lost ones home. Yet I asked the Lord to help us. We lay this grief before the Lord our souls broken open, ready to rise to witness, ready to rise to love God's world to peace. Bless you and thank you.